What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to calculate the mean, median, mode and standard deviation in Microsoft Excel. These are essential statistical tools that can help you analyze data effectively, whether you're working with sports stats, business data or any other numerical information. First, you'll need to enter your data in Excel. Once your data is ready, let's start with calculating the mean, which is the central value of a collection of numbers. Click on the cell where you want the mean to appear. Type equals average open bracket and Excel will prompt you to select the range of data for which you want to calculate the mean. Select the cells containing the data. For instance, if your data is in cells from D2 to D8, you would type D2 semicolon D8. Close the parentheses and hit enter. Excel will calculate the average of the selected data. Let's now see how the median is calculated. The median is the middle value in a list of numbers. Start by clicking on a cell where you want the median to appear. Type equals median open bracket and again select the range of data. After selecting the range, close the parentheses and press enter. Excel will display the median of the data. With the median done, let's calculate the mode. The mode is the value that appears most frequently in your data set. Click on a cell where you want the mode to appear. Type equals mode dot SNGL open bracket as this is the function typically used for finding the mode. Select your data range, close the parentheses and press enter to find the most frequently occurring value. Now it's time to calculate the standard deviation. Standard deviation measures the amount of variation or dispersion from the average. Click on a cell where you want the standard deviation to appear. Type equals stdev.s, open parentheses, select your data range, close the parentheses and hit enter. This function calculates the standard deviation for a sample. After calculating these statistics for one data set, you can easily apply the same formulas to all the data sets in your Excel sheets by using the autofill feature. Simply drag the fill handle, the small square in the lower right corner of the selected cell, across the columns to replicate the calculation. By mastering these functions, you can perform a comprehensive statistical analysis directly in Excel, making your data analysis tasks more efficient and effective. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.